Hi all, welcome back to our lecture series. This is Muthu Meenal, Assistant Professor at the Department of Agricultural Engineering. Today we will see the continuity of previous session, the tools and equipments involved in precision machinery and equipments under the unit Advanced Machinery and Equipment in Agricultural Engineering for the subject of Automation Techniques in Agriculture Engineering for second year, four semester students. At the previous class, we have seen what is agricultural machinery, why do we need a precision equipment and what are the tools and equipments involved in precision farming. And we have had a very good glimpses on uh, GPS and GIS, uh, that is uh, how the global positioning system and geographic information system involved in agricultural sampling, which gives us an outcome in grid sampling, how we are going to split up the farms into several grids. Uh, between 0.5 to 5 hectares and then we have also seen how the several samples uh, from each grid will be sent to the laboratory for analysis with respect to variable rate technology and also the spinning this duplicator with ECU GPS under variable rate technology along with this we have seen how the outcomes could be mapped and analyzed with the help of yield maps where the processing data from the adapted combined harvester is equipped with GPS integrating with the yield recording system and also we have seen how the data could be remotely collected with the help of remote sensors and uh, here I would like to quote that the aerial and satellite imagery from the remote sensors can be processed to provide the vegetative indices which will help us to reflect the health of the plant and this indicates that wherever the variations are needed we can identify the crop required development, field boundaries and changes in soil type so that we could increase the yield of the crop which are uh, being cultivated. The next title which we have to see today is proximate sensors. This is a type of sensors among, the, uh, among which the data are predicted and collected from the environment. It is similar to that of the remote sensors. The only difference is it is used to measure soil parameters such as nitrogen status, soil pH status and the crop properties such as um, what uh, physical natures, what could be the yield, what is its quality, how it is uh, uh, available, what is the texture available, whether it is uh, uh, affected with uh, through pest whether we do need to enrich the nutrients of uh, the soil. So these are some kinds of notations which could be calculated uh, with usage of uh, proximate sensors. And this is an outlook of uh, proximate sensors that we have been used. And these proximate sensors helps us to measure the data required and these data will be uh, sent with the help of a wireless mode uh, to the um, app which we have been collecting and after analyzing these kinds of data we will get a notification that whether there is a restriction in the N status and PH status and how we can uh, change these status with the help of proximation and uh, how we can predict the quality of the crop and how we can also increase the uh, quality of the crop with the help of predicting these kinds of data with the help of proximate sensor. And the next one is computer, hardware and software. So whatever data we have been collected until this day, the data will have to be analyzed with the help of a software, hardware and the computer. And these kinds of data collected by other precision agriculture technology components will be made available in an usable format such as map, graph, chart, reports and the computer is usually essential along with the specific software support and this is the image where we are collecting the data from the field and the collected data will be transferred to the uh, specific software support which uh, will be utilized under the computer hardware systems and the next thing which we have to know under one is precision irrigation system. Under the precision irrigation system, the recent developments are being released for commercial use using sprinkler irrigation by controlling the irrigation machines motion with GPS based controllers. 
and along with the help of wireless communication and sensor technologies everything is being developed to monitor the soil and ambient conditions along with operation parameters of the irrigation machines that is flow and pressure to achieve high water use efficiency and this is how the precision irrigation system helps us to monitor the requirement of soil moisture with the help of sensor and this is a pictorial representation of identifying the um, soil moisture availability and if there is a reduction in soil moisture availability at the field then there is a susceptible possibility of awning on the source of power with the help of pump to the sprinkler irrigation system and the pump system will automatically on and when the specified moisture has been attained this system will be powered off uh, automatically and the final one is precision farming on arable land the use of precision agriculture techniques on the arable land is the most widely used and most advanced amongst farmers the control traffic farming is a whole farm approach which will aim to avoid unnecessary crop damage and soil compaction by heavy machinery which will help us to reduce the cost imposed by these kinds of standard methods these kinds of traffic methods involve confining all field vehicles to the minimal area of permanent traffic lanes with the aid of decision support system and this is also an another important application of precision agriculture it which is to optimize the use of fertilizers especially like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which is required in the crop quality and improved production of uh, crop outcome so before uh, uh, sowing or planting these kinds of crops in the field we have to identify and justify that the fertilizers uh, distribution has to be made properly such that the soil enhanced which is these kinds of uh, uh, nutrient properties that is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which are responsible for the very good crop yield so this is what we have prepared for today's class um, as of today we have seen what is precision farming what are the tools and equipments involved in precision farming and how we can apply these tools and equipments on uh, cultivating and providing a very good yield with very good quality and meeting out the food necessities so uh, we will see at the next class if there is any kind of uh, doubt or anything you guys can ping me anytime thank you see you at next class